cracking down at the Capitol. Governor Cuomo's anti-corruption plan is turning heads in Albany tonight. He wants to increase penalties, ban offending lawmakers from public service for life, even punish those who do not blow the whistle. It comes following the arrest of an assembly member and a state senator last week. Brandon Lewis is following the story for us in our Albany newsroom tonight. Brandon, critics question if this is the right step to finally get the reform. You know, Greg, we're hearing a lot of skepticism tonight from the Capitol. Many saying this doesn't address the real issue of corruption. And the fear is if positive steps aren't taken soon, it will be much more difficult to restore public trust in the state's government. If you are a public official and if you break the law, you will get caught, you will be prosecuted, and you will go to jail. Strong words yet again from Governor Cuomo announcing plans to do away with corruption in Albany. But those close to the Capitol say the talk is just that. Is there a chance that this can actually fix the corruption problem in Albany? This new package of laws? Mm -hmm. No. Not even the slightest. Um, like I said, they keep passing laws. We have plenty of laws. The laws are not the problem. It's the people, stupid. Cuomo's Public Trust Act comes days after the arrest of Assemblyman Eric Stevenson, who's accused of taking bribes to push through an adult daycare center in his district. And it raises doubt whether reform could come. Well, the legislators who are currently holding office ran under the current system. They're the ones who benefited from it. They're the ones who were comfortable running for re-election under this. So they don't want to change the system because that makes their lives more difficult. Instead, they propose reform that tackles corruption where it starts, such as per diem abuse. People don't get elected and then, you know, take a million dollar bribe. But maybe this crisis is enough to scare the governor into doing real reform. And real reform means get on the phone today, call up Ellen Bybin at the Joint Commission on Public Ethics that you created, the person you put in place, and say, you're not doing the job, you're fired. And our analysts were divided whether reform would include publicly financed elections. Mahoney says it would help make elections more open, while Grando says it would spur corruption and pointed to Smith's arrest as evidence. Governor Cuomo is expected to propose additional reform later on this session. Live in our Albany newsroom, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.